Hello everybody, welcome back to Exanima. So as promised, we're going to start a new story mode game here in the beta branch today. And we'll be switching back and forth between the story mode and the arena. So, without further ado, we've got the Keith Urban mullet, um, obviously. Um, I don't care really about the physique too much. I'll just leave it like right here. Age is fine. Fairly tall. That'll be good. Go ahead and get dressed. Now, as you see, and I didn't, I wasn't aware, um, the global experience from the non-beta branch passed over to the beta branch. So that's really good. So I've got a bunch of stuff already. Repost, remise. We're working on fend, and we're working on deflection. Very cool. All right. So again, I'm very happy to see that I've already got at least the remise skill, because I really rely very much on that skill. So we'll go ahead and pick up our torch and our makeshift weapon for now. There is the lid of a barrel down here that we could use as a shield, but I need the torch a little more than I need a shield right now, so that's alright. And we're going to try to be careful on this run. We're not going to try and speed through it. We're going to try and take our time and get things right. Now, of course, this all depends on how we do in this very first fight. <laughs> which can sometimes go horribly awry. So here goes nothing as usual. Try and lure him out into the hallway here. Come on. There, come on out. Yeah, come on out. All right, well, we're going to go in with the overhead. Nice. Three sixty there. That was ridiculous. All right, so we're not going to let the zombie get away try and run him down and actually push him over. That didn't work. I'm trying to push him onto the ground so I can then overhead him. And he somehow manages to come back and strike me. I don't know how. God damn, I can't see anything. Alright, now he's running again. <laughs> okay, so again, let's just try and... I am so terrible at like trying to attack someone on the run. As you can see, it's just laughable. Alright, now I got this son of a bitch. There's that remise right there. Okay, so we finally took him down. I don't need those pants. I will pick up the hatchet even though I probably won't use it. It's nice to have a cutting edge every now and again. So we'll go ahead and load that up into the inventory. Alright, over here, what do we get? A belt. Not bad, not bad. Just some added defense. Added armor, you know. That's good. All right, we've taken a little bit of red damage, which sucks, of course. But we're going to have to find a way to deal with it. Okay, now I need a two-handed weapon, and I need it now. Now, there's a sledgehammer in here, but the sledgehammer is very difficult. I want to try and get to a metal bar. Now, the, I don't think these are the ones I'm looking for right here, but they are metal bars of a sort. They're one-handed, though. They're not two-handed. But I want to look around and see if maybe the two-handed metal bar is in here somewhere. Um, see, like what we have here, this is the one-handed like cage bar. I think these are all the same. Looks like it. I'm looking up here. What is that? Is this a cage bar as well? Yeah. So that again, that's one-handed. I'm looking for the two-handed. Oh, we've got company. Yeah. Go. You go ahead and get out of here. Walk the hell out of here if you know what's good for you, zombie. Because I will fuck you up. Okay, well, there's at least like a 70% chance that I'll fuck you up. And a 30% chance that you'll kill me. I shouldn't tell them the other... Okay, that's what I'm looking for right there. Okay, this is what we need. Metal bar, come on. Just trying to pick it up here. Alright, so naturally we can't hold our torch at the same time. But luckily we've got some light sources in here. And, okay, so here's what I'm going to do first. I'm going to go over here to this corner. And we're going to start here. Try and clear it out. See if I can get... Well, let's go in with the overhead. I'm never able to get the timing right, but let's try it. Oh, got it that time. All right. Clobbered the zombie over the head. I'm going to try to get away from the wall here. I don't know how I missed. There we go. Ah, oh, shit took more permanent damage because I'm stuck against the wall. I'm, I'm pressing my movement keys and he's not going anywhere. So we took permanent damage because I could not get away from the wall. 
That is pathetic. Oh, God damn it! I hate chasing the zombies. This is so pointless. I miss every time. But if I let them get away... There oh, there's another one running after us now. Shit. If I let them get away, then it's not good. Obviously, because they'll come sneaking up on me later when I'm least expecting it. And I'm not going to let that happen. And this zombie obviously wants to make things difficult for me. So instead, I'm going to make things very difficult for you. Thank you. You are fucking dead. You get what you deserve. Um, we're already wearing a shirt, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, here it comes. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, thank God, they're finally fucking dead. That's exactly what I'm talking about. You let them run away, they will come back when you least expect it. Okay. Now, what is a cloth shirt? Now, I need to figure out again. I think I'm already wearing a shirt. Now, you can usually wear, like, a tunic and a shirt and a coat. What the hell am I doing? Here we go. Yeah, so that replaces what we were wearing. Um... Let's take a look here. Versus this. That's four and a half coverage, huh? Slightly better, but slightly less defense when it comes to piercing, so we're just going to keep the pants that we have. Okay, now let's go back to where we started over here a moment ago. Okay, now we've got a compass here. Always good, so now we've got our compass down there in the bottom left hand. Corner of the screen. And there's a lot of stuff stacked up here, but I don't think there's anything hidden. Nothing of value. Just glancing around. You never know, maybe something changed and they added something. I highly doubt it. But. Okay, so that's clear. Okay, so there's another metal bar right there, and that's okay. Now over in this corner, where it's getting pretty dark, so we're going to need to switch up here. Let's go ahead with the hatchet, actually. I normally don't use it because the range is pathetic. But like I said, sometimes you need a sharp edge to get through zombies' armor. Uh, for at least, well the more heavily armored ones anyway. So here's a sledgehammer. I may or may not use it, but I'm going to put it in my inventory because remember down here this does not affect our encumbrance. Um, and some tongs, and a smithing hammer over here. Some other things. Alright. There we go. It's pulling when I should have been pushing. Okay. Well, I'm actually glad that the zombie managed to shut that door. Um... I wonder, you know what, what the hell, let's go with the sledgehammer. I've got to get better at that damn thing anyway. I used to be fairly proficient with it. Ah, the damn zombie just going to keep shutting the door in my face. There we go. Alright, come on out. Nice. Got that knee taken out. Demise. Oh, shit, that did not work. As always, the Remise, the second swing, is slower than your enemy's first swing. You've got to remember that. Uh, that's another tunic. More trousers. Who cares? He had metal bar. I've already got one. We'll pick up the torch. Or we'll, we'll try to anyway. There we go. Put the hatchet back in. And this is just a bathroom. As usual, we'll try and look down here. and Just on the off chance that maybe something has been secreted away there, you know. But I, I don't... I don't think there is, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and head out of here. Okay, so we've cleared this this side of this room. Now we have over here this room. I believe there's at least one loot container in here, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a, it's been a, a minute since I played. Is that a zombie? I know there's a corpse in here usually, or I think that's this room. I didn't know there was a zombie. Looks like there is though. So let's let's sit. Let's be careful at the very least. Oh, here's this handsaw I might want to pick up too. Forgot about that. Okay. Let's open this again. Yeah, that is a live zombie. How about that? Try and force this door open with my body here. See if that'll work. Not the best idea, I realize. Uh, but I want to get in there, and I want to clobber this zombie straight to hell. Okay. I, let's do it. Now we're in darkness. I don't care. No. Turns out this was a really stupid move. <laughs> it's so dark. Oh shit, I killed him, alright. Now, kids, do not try that at home. That was not a smart move at all. Going in there like that. It's a cramped, you know, confined space. Not good for a sledgehammer, but I did it anyway. I had no light. But we made it happen. So let's go with the handsaw for our one-handed now. 
It's got a more of a cutting surface, better than the hatchet. Loot box. All right, very cool. We got ourselves a worn coat, which we can put over the shirt we're wearing for added protection. Um, oh, some nice boots as well, which worn leather boots, which are much better than the stupid shoes we have on. And that'll be fine. Now that's interesting because in the non-beta, you know, the other branch, I remember. Now don't I, I could be wrong, but I really want to say that this there's usually this zombie is dead in the corner when you get here. I want to say that's what happens, but I could be wrong. But maybe that has changed. Well, clearly it's changed. Um, okay, so let's go over here now. Let's see, okay, we've got yet another zombie right on the other side of a door. So that's becoming quite commonplace. So we throw the torch on the ground for light. And we get ready, and we'll have to open the door again. There we are. Where? Okay, so they're standing right there. I think there might be two zombies in here, or we could get a second one at the very least. So I need to be very careful. Oh, look at that timing. I love it. Let's try and back out, get some more light. There we go. Overhead. Oh, that was really stupid. Oh, look at that. I love... See, well, that's the thing I really love about the sledgehammer. Oh, good lord, I love it. I really hope in the future, Bare Metal, if you're listening, please in the future let me dismember these zombies. Please let that blow should have knocked the damn head right off. That would have been brilliant. Anyway, so they had a sledgehammer. Same as mine. I uh, don't need any of this stuff. Alright, so we'll pick up the old torch here. Whoops, I need to get the handsaw going again. There we are. Now there's usually like a second zombie that comes in from that way. I just need to be wary of that. As I glance around the room, nothing of interest here, just the usual stakes over here, gigantic pencil here, miniature pencil, which is actually much larger than a pencil, therefore not miniature. <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so where is that? Okay, so there's not another one in here. That's good. That's good. But there is a loot container. Sweet. Uh, what do we got here? So we have crude leather boots versus our worn leather boots. The crude ones are better. So we'll take those and we'll leave these here because we don't need them now. And anything else here? No, some tongs, steak. Uh, and not the delicious kind of steak. The you know stab a vampire in the chest kind of steak. And yeah, alright, so that, let me check this table real quick, but I'm pretty sure that about wraps it up for this area. Yeah, it does. Alright, and we will also go ahead and end this episode right here. I'd like to thank you guys, as always, for tuning in. You know I appreciate it. Please hit the like button if you dig what we're doing here, and we'll be back soon with some more Xanima.